on Washington Avenue in downtown Minneapolis. Today it looks like this, but years ago the building was much different. It was a brothel burlesque house, you know, notoriously Washington Avenue's been the red light district and still kind of is. Owners John Lee and Bobby Goral say the building has lost many parts throughout the years, but one thing has stayed. We've been told that her name is Betsy. We're not exactly sure who she is or why she's here but have been led to believe a few different things that she either worked here or uh, was a working girl here. We're told that at some point she met a man. He promised to come back and take her away from the life she was living and she's still here waiting for him to come back and get her. The cousins purchased the bar nearly 20 years ago. It was disclosed in the purchase agreement so one of our first nights of being here, John and I sat down and said, if you want us to leave, you got to give us a sign. We're not here. We don't want you to hurt anyone. We're not here to ask you to leave, but just give us some type of sign that it's time for us to go. We don't necessarily need her to leave, but we'd like to know a little bit more about her and what her, what her intentions are, what, 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 you know, what she's really all about. Psychic and medium Jody Levon immediately picks up on a woman. It looks like she has makeup on, so what kind of tells me is that she was um, was pretty. That's kind of my thing for pretty, and but it's really faded, so I feel like she died a long time ago, and I feel like she died near here. That's when we begin the investigation. Was this over a hundred years ago? I mean, it feels like a really long time ago. Yes, that's what we were told. Yeah, a really long time ago, and. What she says is there's something, there's some sort of a smell of the sea. So when I smell that, it either means that somebody was at war um, and it's like she's looking out a window waiting for somebody to come back. We were told that she was waiting for her lover to come back, that he was away at war, and that's why she didn't go into the light because she was waiting for him to come back. See, now I'm getting the shivers. I am too. <laughs> Jody then begins to learn more about Betsy and how she may have died. I do feel like it was somebody like in somebody, like a police officer that wasn't supposed to be doing something with her that did, and I feel like that's how she died. Bobby told us things get more active when police officers are at the bar. The lights, they used to be glass, and an officer was having lunch here. He got up to leave. He took two steps. Shattered and the whole light came down. Rachel, a former Cuzzy's bartender, says she's had an encounter with a spirit here as well. I went into the back and the kitchen lights were on, so it wasn't that scary. And I reached over and I shut the, the switch off and I turned around and I heard my name. But I heard it in my ear and I also like felt like a, like a kind of like a breath or a wind or a, like it was like a kind of a shock a little bit. But the way that the whoever it was said my name, it was a very, very deep, urgent male voice. That was definitely the one time in my life where I was absolutely positive that something unexplained had happened. Bobby's mentioned several times, the basement, the basement. There's also another part of this building. Do you want to go down there? Sure. Let's go down there. It feels just not good. And heavy. It's almost like there's a fog you can't see but you can feel. That's the corner that bothers me, right there. And that's probably why you guys have heard a baby crying is because there's been, you know, baby bodies over there. They've had the baby cry next to the beer cooler, or if you're walking back towards the other cooler, you walk through like a cold space. Jody believes that women who used to dance at this once burlesque house were at one time pregnant. This is definitely a confirmation. For 19 years, there's always been little pieces of the story that we believe in it but we've never had someone actually explain what we're feeling, hearing, and what's happening. 